Hi everyone, it's Mike Wave Sam. How's it going? We're gonna get the PS2 emulator, but before we do that, I want you to search this PC, right click and hit properties. We're doing this so we can compare our systems and our specifications to see how smoothly the PS2 emulator will run on your computer. Now I have Intel i7 as my processor and 8 gigs of RAM. Next, secondly, we want to go to DXDAG, search for that, hit the first option, and then hit yes on the digital sign prompt. Over here we can see your graphics card and at the display tab you can see I have an Intel HD graphics and I'm just using internal Intel HD graphics card that will be good enough to run a PS2 emulator and now we're gonna get the PS2 emulator. Now we'll get the PS2 emulator so we'll go to this web page and I'll leave all these links in the description the most popular PS2 emulator is called PCSX2. And so we're going to get the first download that pops up, standalone installer. Just hit the download button. We're going to wait until this finished downloads loading, and it's for Windows. So there's going to be an executable file for this. Now it's only 10 megabytes, so it shouldn't take long. After it's done downloading, you can just click on it and open the executable. Now a setup page will run and you can just hit next on this setup page. You'll have to install and there will be some extra installations like this Microsoft Visual C++ 2013. You just agree to the license terms and install. And in the meanwhile we'll get the PS2 BIOS. So at the second link I'm gonna go show it to you and I'll also leave it in the description. Let's close this window out first. And this is almost done, so we'll just wait until the setup finishes. So it's finished, so we're just going to click click to close, and we're going to go to the PS2 BIOS. This BIOS is necessary. I'm going to leave this link in the description. You can download. It's a media fire. So download the link. It'll have a RAR file. You'll need an extracting program to extract this RAR file. So some examples of some extracting programs are 7-Zip and WinRAR. I'm not going to show you the installation of that program, but I like to use 7-Zip nowadays. And here is a link where you can get the PS2 ISOs. ISO files are just the game images, and you can browse game images from popular PS2 games. For example, if you look over here, you can see any letter, or you can search at the top. I'll search for using the letter K and you can see all the games that start with letter K so if we look down I can find one of the most popular games for PS2 Kingdom Hearts I love that game I played it all the time when I was uh, younger and you can just find Kingdom Hearts and download the game with these download links just hit download links but since I already have a ISO that I've already downloaded prior to this video I'm gonna use that instead you can also get ISOs if you don't want to use that site by searching the game name and then torrent. Now I have a separate video for torrents if you're not familiar but you can also google search torrent files and find the game of torrents. So now let us open up PS2 emulator PS2 emulator and we're gonna select our language and apply and then we're gonna do next now PS2 emulator has the first time configuration so we're gonna walk through these configurations now for now we're gonna leave these by default and we're gonna leave all of this by default and hit next afterwards we're gonna have to select the BIOS now it has a default fo folder link but we're gonna have to first it says it's in P the PC documents folder so let's find our downloads let's unzip the BIOS which is over here if you have 7-zip then you just extract here and it's gonna create a BIOS folder within this folder directory so the BIOS folder appears right down there you want to cut right click and cut it 
and then we're gonna maneuver to our documents because that's where the default folder is so go to your documents find the PCS uh, folder and then paste BIOS inside it now BIOS will go into the BIOS folder and then you want to check that use default setting because now BIOS is in that folder and select the PS2 BIOS of your choice I'm gonna select the latest USA 2006 because my ISO file is a USA one now PS2 there's a program log you can just minimize that and then there's the actual program now for your downloads if you already got an ISO file like myself I've got a persona for ISO it came with all these RAR files and when you have all these RAR files if you have something similar to me just right click and extract the one that says dot RAR and then extract here and then that's all there is to it it creates an ISO file and I did this prior to this video but all you do is extract the dot RAR file now with this program PCS um, the PlayStation 2 emulator you can select a CD DVD source ISO and you just open that up and then it opens up the game like regularly you can boot it in regular or fast boot and it doesn't matter which one if you do fast boot then it's gonna boot right directly into the game if you do full boot it's gonna uh, boot into the PS2 loading screen um, but I did fast boot in this example and all you do is system and then you boot into your ISO you can do full screen you can see the full game uh, so now we're gonna configure some other settings like uh, audio and also the gamepad you can use um, you can check memory card you can all these different settings are for you to customize yourself but for now we've gotten the game booting and it's running at a smooth 60 frames per second so next step is configuring gamepad and getting audio finally we'll go over configurations go to config video and window settings or plugin settings to change those window plugin settings in case you can't see anything go to audio and plugin settings and make sure your module is recommended for recommended your audio should work now and then hit OK then go to config and then the pad and then plugin settings go to pad 1 and you can bind uh, keys for the PS2 control you can also use a PS3 controller but for now I'm just gonna show you the keyboard bindings uh, for Persona 4, which is a game that doesn't involve too much live action, I just set WASD for movement, and up for triangle, left for square, right for circle, and down for X. And then for L1, L2, L3, well, L1, L2, R1, R2, I do 1, 2, 3, and 4. And then for start, I do P, and for select, I do O. And that's okay, so just hit okay, and it's done. So you can configure your settings however you want. And then finally, if you have any other problems, you just config. Go to the plugin settings. Now we're going to fast boot again. Resume actually, since I already had it it minimized the game. So I'm going to go to system and then resume the game. You can also change anything about the CD, DVD, change the ISO that you're playing, and then if you resume, you can play the game. So that's it for the PS2 emulator. Thanks for watching. Please rate, comment, subscribe. See you guys later.